hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a video on why i've been m.i.a for the last couple of weeks you can say it's almost been about maybe two months that i've been off filming so i'm gonna let you guys know what's been going on and update you on everything to date if you guys hear anything in the background or see my son it's because he's on the bed right now and he's playing so just keep that in mind um and yeah so we're gonna jump right into the video so first thing is first um if you don't follow me on social media you don't know yet but if you do you already know that i'm pregnant and i am pregnant with my second baby i am extremely happy at first i was like really shocked i'm pregnant with my second baby and it was planned we just didn't think that it was gonna happen as fast as it did so right now i am currently in my second trimester i am 14 weeks and two days so according to my baby um app my baby is as big as a lemon uh, that the baby is now using facial face facial muscles to grimace and smile so this app is okay i don't know if you guys ever use this app and then it tells you about the baby and then it shows you like a cute little video and then it has like different things like right here i'm not sure if you guys use this app it's called what to expect but i'm not sure if i really like the app so if you guys have any suggestions on what apps you guys use please let me know because i'm searching for another one so that's the big news me and my boyfriend we finally got back to like a, a same state of mind we really talked about having another baby and i essentially wanted to wait a little bit more but i also wanted my son to grow up with somebody if that makes any sense i sorry i have brothers and sisters but i am the baby so me and my my brother that comes next he's 32 31 and i'm 26 so there's a big gap between us so I, we obviously played but it wasn't the same you know what i mean so i wanted my son to grow up with somebody you know really close and having that experience that i didn't have my boyfriend had that experience with his brother because they're about three and a half years apart so i thought that was perfect so i thought my kids from two to three years apart would be perfect so we talked about it i essentially wanted to wait a little longer just because i was on a journey where i was losing weight and i was going to the gym and then i started feeling good about myself again and then you know i was feeling better um, about myself and then um he was just like i really want to have a baby i really want to have a baby we should just start trying and mind you with my first child with my son it did take me a couple of months to actually get pregnant so we're like okay you know let's plan it out that way um if it does take as long as it did or longer that he would or he or she would be born you know in a good time frame for us so the month that we decided to go for it that's the month that it came true like i was so shocked that it happened so fast for us this time around <sighs> sorry i'm running out of breath you know what i just realized i didn't put highlight girl how did you forget highlight it's okay though and at first i was kind of like no i'm not pregnant but then i didn't really feel anything uh, with my first pregnancy with my son before i start rambling even more grab a snack because this might be a long video with my first son the ride the pregnancy the delivery everything was a plus plus like it was amazing i didn't feel anything i was never sick the delivery was as planned I didn't have any complications I didn't get any diabetes you know all those things that you could get when you're pregnant and I know a lot of girls do get 
you know sick and do have things and do have complications but i was not one of them i was really extremely lucky um the only thing that i did have was sleepiness but i feel like that's normal so that was my first son um with this one i keep saying son or daughter but i don't know what it is yet so don't quote me on he or she um, with this time around the reason why i've been in my a for a while is because i've been sick the day i found out that i was pregnant i started feeling sick i started feeling a lot of nausea and i still feel nausea but not as i did in my first trimester like it was so bad like i eat and i felt nausea and i'm not gonna say it was just in the morning that i had morning sickness i feel like mine was more midday towards the evening so i was throwing up i had nausea all day everything i ate gave me nausea i was hungry i ate and it gave me nausea so it was just extremely awful and then on top of that i'm tired i'm sleepy i have a very active 18 year old month and he wants attention you know i'm his best friend i'm the one who plays with him i'm the one that's here all day with him i do have my parents that live here with us well i live with my parents right now and my brother actually lives here too and his girlfriend has a daughter so she plays with him here and there as well so that's like you know kind of fun taking that time away from me but my mom's here so my mom helps me a lot too but it's still like my son you know what i mean so i'm on top of him i'm not those types of mothers that's just gonna leave their child and forget i'm trying to do everything for him plus there's days that he's not feeling okay plus there's days what if he gets sick you know what i mean so i have to be like at a hundred percent and i'm not at a hundred percent and especially within a hundred percent in my first trimester so it was really really hard if you have been in my situation like you know have a son a really young child and then you're pregnant with a second one and are sick you know exactly what i feel like it's extremely hard and I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I should be blessed, you know what I mean? That I don't get to go to work and I don't have to get up at a certain time and be away at a certain time and then come home and then be sick at work, you know what I mean? But it's still so hard because a mom job is 24-7 and never stops. So it's extremely, it was extremely hard for me, so that's why I didn't film for the first two three months because I was just sick and I didn't feel like myself I didn't want to do my hair I never wanted to do my makeup I never wanted to change it was hard to just shower and that sounds disgusting but it was just so hard for me just to be in the shower like go shower and then come back like it was just so much energy that I had to take out of myself so I was just so sick um, I hated it. Once I hit my three month mark, which I, I mean, I haven't even hit it that far because I'm 14 weeks, but it started getting a little better. I still do have nausea, I'm not going to lie, but now I have headaches. I have headaches so much, so, so much, like you don't even know. And I'm not the type of person that likes to take things when I'm pregnant, so... I don't take Tylenol. I did change my vitamins though because I was eating some gummy ones because since I was so sick in my first trimester, I felt like the gummy ones were really light on my stomach. So I was doing those but they didn't have iron. So my doctor told me to switch. So I am now taking different vitamins um, and that did help a little bit. But I'm still feeling headaches every single day and I eat okay i i haven't gained so much weight yet with my son i gained the exact 15 pounds i believe yeah the exact 15 pounds that i had to gain and with this doctor i mean with this baby i'm hoping i'm gaining the same amount or less um the recommended time just because i'm a little bit over you know weight i'm a bigger not like a huge girl but i'm a bigger type of girl like i'm not super skinny so my uh, weight gain is different so i can only gain from 15 to the max 20 pounds and 20 pounds is pushing it so with my son i gained the exact 
I think it was the exact 15 pounds. So that's why I've been gone for the first couple of months. I did want to film and I thought I had so many ideas. I have so many things. Like I bought baby boards. Like I have this cute little baby board right here. It's all ugly but it has like where you can put the stuff on it. Like I bought this as soon as I found that I was pregnant and I've been so lazy to fill it out and take a cute like little picture. So you could just imagine like it's insane so yeah that's pretty much why i've been mia and what's been going on in my first trimester i am going to be doing like updates on my trimesters just so you guys can see how i've been feeling how i've been like all that good stuff like now i feel like i'm much much better so far but i'm still here and there you know down let me show you guys my little pick this was my baby when I was 10 weeks and two days so this is a little nugget right here he's measuring a little bigger um, than I am so actually in reality I was nine weeks when I took this ultrasound and the baby is measuring 10 weeks my doctor told me um, that I was completely fine that they were not gonna change my due date he said that maybe just the baby had like a growth spurt and he's a little advanced right now so I have another doctor's appointment on the 9th so we'll see how the baby is doing at that time but so far everything's been great you know healthy I'm healthy I'm okay nothing's wrong um, yeah that's how i've been feeling and i'm so excited oh if you guys know any like old wife's tales or things like that because i'm gonna be doing a video before i find out what the gender is uh we might have like a little gender reveal just for like immediate family so i want to do like a video of old wife's tales before we actually find out what we're having so if you guys know any uh leave them down in the comments below that way we can try them out and yeah thank you guys so much for watching for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye